Somewhere along the line, I think a lot of stuff became just a line item instead yeah. of really looking at what worth that has to the yeah. citizens of the state. Hopefully, I mean, with the shutdown, I hopefully people saw that. My name is Mel Percheski. I work at the Pollution Control Agency, and I'm an administrative specialist. Uh, Michael Lindholt. I'm a maintenance worker for the Department of Transportation. One of the things that really attracted me to the state 10 years ago was um, how clean it was, the environmental things in the state. I thought it was a highly educated workforce. Um, definitely it tended to lean more towards progressive values, but family values. I mean, you take care of your elderly, you take care of your sick, you take care of your disabled. Um, and I know during this last debate, there's been a lot of talk about, oh, if we tax the rich, they're going to leave this state. And I remember clearly a night when my husband and I turned towards each other and thought, forget them, you know, we're going to leave this state if the state continues to go down this line. And that was kind of what you heard during this, you know, this whole, this whole deal of the shutdown of that is we need to run this as a business and shrink government. And this is not a business. Right. I, we provide a service. This is, the, you know, this is a, this is a service that we provide that Minnesota is willing to pay for to have this quality of life. To say, yes, we need these services. We need people in health care. We need to take care of our elderly. We need our roads, you know, maintained. If a lot of businesses and things actually ran legitimately and for the benefit of the greater good, I don't believe government would need to be as involved in some things. But unfortunately, that's not the way that the world works. And in the end, I think, you know, government is that is that thing that can help drive equality a little bit better um, for people. I think that's the key word is equality. I think that's where the plan came in was to try and balance that mm -hmm. expenditure, you know, spending, taxing, revenue issue. Um, somewhere along the line, I think a lot of stuff became just a line item instead yeah. of really looking at what worth that has to the yep. citizens of the state. Yep. Um, is, you know, instead of just looking at something as costing X, Y, Z, we need to look at the benefit of what that cost is. Um, and we need to see more of that. I think it was too easy this time around for people to just, we well, don't need this and we don't need this. Hopefully, I mean, with the shutdown, I, hopefully people saw that. You know, I think it, they with did. people not, you know, with nobody working for 20 days or 18 days or whatever it was, that people actually saw these core functions and say, hey, we need these people here. We need our fish and licenses. We need our yeah. roads fixed. We need our elderly taken care of. Um, it was frustrating because, I, you know, I was out on lakes and I'm thinking, these lakes aren't being checked or monitored. Yeah. And I looked around and saw, you know, 50, 60 boats, and it's like, do they even realize the impact of not having us work? Yep. Um, and you might not notice it today, especially with something like pollution, but in three or four years, if we're neglecting taking care of our waters and lakes and lands here, that impact, I mean, do you want to eat fish filled with mercury? mercury. <laughs> you know? Exactly. Um, and it just feels... I mean, I don't know if you felt this way, but a lot of a lot of us felt this way that it was more of like a kick in the teeth kind of a thing, you know. It was a hey, great job, great job, and you guys plow our roads and you do a fantastic job of it. And now that we don't need you, we're in the middle of the summer here. Right. You know, you know, what do you do in the summer? You don't do this. We don't need these things, so go away. We don't. And need them. And, and I have pride in the work I do, and to hear someone say that I'm a beast or yeah. that I'm you know living high off the hog yeah, um, as we live paycheck to paycheck yeah. um, is frustrating.